guys, it's Super Rosanna here, and welcome to Why Is This Design So Good? This design is for LEGO Mindstorms EV3. This design is by uh, Lawrence Valk, the creator of the um, LEGO Mindstorms EV3 Discovery Book, which you can purchase off Amazon for, I got mine for 10 bucks because I got it digitally. You can also get a paperback or I think it's a hardback copy for like 20 bucks, and it's worth every penny. It's a really good book. It has a lot of unique designs. The instructions aren't the best. It's not Autodesk material like what Lego, like what the official Lego company uses, but it's decent enough to work. This design is very simple. It's a base spot design, basically. No better word for it. It's a base spot. It's pretty simple. It runs on wheels. As you can see, the touch sensor and the color sensor aren't on there. I added those on myself. Um, in the back, you got one little wheel that spins around. It looks a lot like Robomi's wheel from Wowie Robotics. Now, this design is really good for many reasons. One, number one, it's simple. Anyone can build this design. This design really takes like 15 to 20 minutes to build, and it's, it's pretty easy to program as well. You don't have to deal with any tread systems or anything like that, like what Lego's official base bot design is. Their base bot is a tracker and it's got treads and stuff and etc. Now this one in particular I like more because it's faster. It's on wheels, it's decently light for an EV3, so it, it gets pretty decent speed. I mean it's not like you know it's not like a quadcopter speed but it's decent. So it gets a pretty good speed for EV3s it, it it thanks to the one wheel in the back you don't need I mean it, you don't need much proportion in the back to turn like turning with this thing is very simple I mean just the slightest turn is enough to make it you know turn this wheel never gets caught on anything back here it's just free spinning uh, it doesn't get stuck on the wires ever it's just it's still it's basically just for balance um, the second reason why it's so good is because it's not too high and it's not too low the head is at a decent level where it can detect pretty much any object. It's not too low, it's not too high, it's pretty good. And you know it's and it's facing straight forward. Now just make sure that these wires get in the way of the vision and set etc. Number three, it's compatible with the ultrasonic sensor from you know Lego if you want to go ahead and buy that because that's what I did. I bought my ultrasonic sensor as an additional thing. Um, it is compatible except if you use that you won't be able to use the iris sensor. So it's basically going like do you want to control it? Or do you want to have it roaming? I built this model because it's really good for autonomous. Like this model, is, it's the simplest one you can build, but it's actually the best for autonomous. This one in Reptar, because Reptar looks, you know, he slithers and he looks different ways. But this guy, he's so good because he's fast and he turns and stuff. And this one in particular can actually drive on carpet. And I will actually show you that maybe. But there's a lot of reasons why this thing is so great, but those are just a few of them. Um, and it's very simple to take apart too. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to keep him in this mode, but it's definitely good for roaming because like with Reptar, when you make when you do autonomous with him, um, you can have only Reptar roaming because he's so big. Um, you can't have Robo Sapiens or any of those guys roaming. You can only have Reptar. With this guy, you can have this guy and a few other robots because he's not that big. I mean, I think a pencil's bigger. Yeah, I mean, he's about the size of a pencil almost. So, you know, whatever. And he's about as tall as a pencil as well. So anyways, I'll boot him up, and I'll show you what he's made of. Now, again, Lawrence did a really good job with it, and the instructions for this guy are actually pretty good. But for ones like, um, like for the claw one that he has in there, and for Lava Rex, the instructions aren't the best, and the programming instructions are, are decent. They give you samples, but they're not as good as you'd want them to be. Now, I'm actually going to move it away, because it actually shoots sound waves out of the out of the head, and it'll actually you know, mess up the microphone. So just wait for it to boot up. Alright, now we're good to go. So I'm going to show you Explorer. So I'll put him on the ground. I'll disconnect my charger. I don't know why that's charging. I shouldn't have... So I made mine wait until I hit the touch sensor. So I mean, as you can see, he's pretty fast.
And see, he's pretty fast at it as well. And he's, he got out of that little area pretty quick. So now, I'll show you him on carpet, because this guy is actually available, he can actually work on carpet. Which you may not think would be work, because he's got wheels, but he actually can, it's pretty cool. See? So isn't that something? He can actually go on carpet. He can actually get over some terrain too. Like little cords on the ground, he can actually get over.